don't know. This is just my assumption, guys, but let me know. Like, I'm just thinking this is LVMH, right? They are greedy. They're always trying to cut corners and, like, make the most money. So why are they doing this to the puzzle bag? Hey, guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jess. If you love shopping and handbag videos, please like and subscribe to my channel. I actually heard some information today that the puzzle bag as we know it from La Weve is going to be discontinued. I know, guys. What the hell, Jess, are you saying? Well... <sighs> Here's what's happening, guys. The puzzle bag, just the classic one, you know, with all the little pieces, usually comes in classic calfskin, Napa calfskin, and like sometimes satin calfskin. We've seen, uh, you know, the last few seasons or so. But there's also the puzzle edge, which sometimes comes in, what I've seen is goat skin. And apparently, guys, they're going to phase out the regular puzzle bag as we know it. So the, probably the most popular one. And they're just going to produce Puzzle Edge. So all puzzle bags from now on are going to be Puzzle Edge. I know, guys, what is going on. So, you know, the most beloved puzzle bag is probably the classic tan one. And that one is the, the, the regular puzzle bag, right? This is going to be phased out. It's now going to be the Puzzle Edge design. I know, I don't know what they are doing, guys, but this is what I've heard. So no more puzzle bags. You know, we have seen a massive change in the puzzle bag before. The puzzle bag came out, I believe, around 2015. I'll just double check, but I'll put the year on the screen. And when it first came out, it came with feet and a different kind of shoulder strap as well. And the original design of the puzzle bag, in my opinion, was actually cuter i really liked the feet on it and it also had an extra d ring so you could turn it into a backpack as well which i really liked that and over the years they've simplified the design to have no feet and like a strap which i really don't like the new strap like the old one was way better i know because i used to have a pink puzzle bag from like the 2017 era and that one was had more elements to it but you know, recently I had a puzzle bag from the Spirited Away collection, which I recently sold. So unfortunately, I cannot show you guys a visual, but hopefully I have some footage. So, well, I definitely have some footage on my channel of that puzzle bag. That one had no feet. It had a different strap on it, which wasn't my favorite strap. But it had, you know, all the different pieces made up of the puzzle bag as well. Now, the puzzle edge has a side piece, which kind of wraps around the side. And yeah, it looks like it has less elements to it again. So slowly but surely, they're kind of changing the puzzle bag to be even more simplified, which some people might prefer that aesthetic because I guess it's more minimal, less busy. But the thing I like personally about the puzzle bag, I know it always sounds like I'm complaining, guys, but I'm just being honest. The thing I like about the puzzle bag is that it has so many pieces to it and it is literally like a little puzzle like made up of all these different pieces and my theory is is that i think they're going to change the puzzle bag into just puzzle edge because it will probably make it easier to manufacture and there'll be less inconsistencies between each bag because what i've noticed is that sometimes when you look at puzzle bags they kind of wave out in a weird way and perhaps for new artisans it's going to be easier to craft the puzzle edge now i don't know this is just my assumption guys but let me know like i'm just thinking this is lvmh right they are greedy they're always trying to cut corners and like make the most money so why are they doing this to the puzzle bag now from what i've seen the puzzle edge usually comes in the goat skin uh so if i go on the website go in the new in section on the lueve website oh my gosh they have some really funky flamenco bags wow the most popular bag at the moment is the mini hammock hobo it's a really good price point guys it's 2450 and it's really popular, I've heard on Little Red Book. Um, but the new puzzle bags are actually in Puzzle Edge. So you can see there's a small puzzle bag in soft grain calfskin. And as I said previously, I'd seen this in the goat skin, but now they're starting to release it in the soft grain. And you know, they've still got they've got a few other new styles. Um, they've also got a new and classic puzzle bag in classic calfskin in mustard. Which is interesting, but yeah, just letting you guys know, I don't know when this discontinuation is going to happen. This is just what I've heard, that it's just going to be Puzzle Edge from now on, and they're going to start phasing out the old design of the puzzle bag. And that makes me think, guys, do you think that the old puzzle bag design is going to be 
on sale because I know Loewe do put their bags on sale and if you go on their website at the moment it's currently their sale season and they do have the Puzzle Hobo uh, on sale a few different colors which is uh, good if you want a little bit of a bargain there but I wonder what they're going to be doing with the old design of the puzzle bag and I can't remember what they did with the old ones with the feet. They probably just slowly phased them out and started introducing the new puzzle bags. So I assume they're going to do that again with the puzzle edge. So anyways guys, let me know what you think of the puzzle edge. Um, I personally prefer the normal puzzle bag or actually I prefer the classic like the first puzzle bag with the feet that was my favourite one. Um, actually Karen Britchick has those original ones with the feet. But the Puzzle Edge, I'm not sure what the benefits of the Puzzle Edge are. Let me know if you know, guys. But I'm going to assume it's just to create um, more consistency in the manufacturing. Because Loewe has really become a lot more popular over the past, especially two years. If you notice them on social media, I mean, there's so many big celebrities wearing Loewe now. And I think it's become more popular with the mainstream public. Like, you know, Rihanna at the... Um, Super Bowl, you also had Beyonce in this really cool Loewe outfit. I think it's starting to really come up as a brand and become really hyped. And some of their newer designs I feel like are really um, aimed at a younger audience as well, like those baskets that say Loewe on them and some of the sporty straps that say Loewe. They have very strong branding and they're less of the quiet luxury brand that they may perhaps used to be. They still have that element to them for sure, but I do think that it is picking up momentum in the sales and maybe that's why they're cutting costs a little bit just to keep up with the production. And you know guys, when I bought my house moving castle pieces, I really loved my Heen pocket, uh, dice pocket, but my Calcifer Luna bag ended up having a few problems with it when I had to return it and it seemed like they really did rush that collection. So it is possible that Loewe are producing more than usual and so they have to simplify the, their designs even more. And not only that, it's it's annoying guys because Loewe puzzle bags have gone up so much in price over the past few years. The price is still not bad compared to like Louis Vuitton and Chanel because you're getting like a leather bag. But I wouldn't be surprised if Loewe increased the price again. And on top of that, they've taken away elements of the bag that maybe we once really loved. So let me know what you think about this. And have you guys heard this rumor as well? Just putting it out there, letting you know. You know I love to talk about the hot topics every day. So, yep, thanks for watching. And I'll talk to you guys on my next one. Bye!